Today I made Souls RNG in one hour. For those of you who don't know, Souls RNG is a brand new game that came out just two months ago, and it's already one of the biggest games on Roblox with over 90 million visits already. In Souls RNG, you roll for auras, and what that means is you click a button on the screen and it gives you a randomized aura, kind of like hatching eggs in a simulator. Different auras have different rarities, so the rarer the aura, the lower the chance of rolling it. The concept of the game is fairly simple, so I thought it would be fun to try and make it in an hour. There are a few major components of Souls RNG that I want to have. So I need to make all of the auras. I also need to make all of the GUIs. In case you didn't know, GUIs are basically the icons and the text that you see on the screen. You also need to have a rolling system, which will have the game pick the aura that the player gets when they roll. We'll also need an inventory system which will keep track of what the player has, and lastly we need to be able to equip and unequip the auras. To start I had to make the auras. The auras in Souls RNG have just two things. A title, which is basically just text displayed above the player, and a really cool effect that goes around the player's character. To make the auras, I inserted NPCs into the workspace to be my test dummies. The auras themselves aren't really difficult to make. For the title, you just need a billboard GUI and a text label inside that billboard. I then parented it, or placed it, inside the NPC's head. Now, making the title is easy. The effects, however, are a different story. What I did was I had an attachment placed inside the character's torso with a bunch of particle emitters inside. Now, I'm no particle specialist, so I used the super secret hack to make the particles really quickly, which may or may not have involved the toolbox. At the end, I had five decent looking auras. I made a folder for them and I threw it all into server storage. The next step was to make the GUIs that the players would see on screen. There are two main GUIs that we'll have. One for the display you get when you roll, and the second display for the player's inventory. For the roll GUI, I added a button that players would click to roll for auras. I sized it down, gave it a name, and put it at the bottom of the screen. To make it fancier, I added a UI corner to make it look round, I changed the font, and adjusted the background. The last thing I did was add a UI stroke to make a cool outline around the button. I added a semi-transparent frame where the rules would be shown. Now for the inventory GUI, I want to break it down into three sections. Have a title at the top, a scrolling frame showing the player's inventory in the middle, and then two buttons at the bottom for equipping and unequipping the auras. I added some finishing touches to the inventory display because no one wants to play a game with GUIs that look like they were made in 2008. Now here is where all the coding takes place. So I had to script the rolling system, keep track of the inventory, and make sure that players could equip and unequip the auras that they rolled. To make the rolling system, I needed a way to detect when the player clicks on the roll button and then tell the game to pick a random aura to give to the player. So I used a remote event for this. A remote event is just a way for the client, which is the player, and the server to communicate. I made it so that when the player clicks on the roll button, it tells the server that they want to roll for an aura. On the server's end, I added a script which would store the rarities of all the auras, and then pick 5 auras at random but only give the player the last one. You might be thinking, why pick 5 auras if you only give the player the last one? Well if you think back to Souls RNG, it displays a couple of auras that you could have gotten but just missed, so that's what I'm trying to do here. After that I used another remote event which would tell the client, hey, display all the auras that this player could have gotten, plus the one they did get. Then I created the screen displays, which would show the different auras, with the corresponding chances displayed underneath. Now with all the displays finished, I added a script which would display all the auras that they could have gotten when they roll. I used tween service to animate the displays so that it kind of looks like a slot machine, with all the displays coming down and then disappearing. The rolling animation was looking pretty smooth, so the next thing I had to do was to make a place to store all of the player's auras, so I created another script to do just that. I made it so that when the player joins, it will create a folder for that player, which will hold their inventory inside. Then I update the script I used to handle the rolling to make sure it adds the aura that they rolled into their inventory. I used another remote event to basically tell the client to add any new auras to the player's inventory so that they can see it. 
the auras would show up in their inventory as buttons. So I had to make all of the buttons for the aura so that when they roll a new aura, I can duplicate that button and then place it inside their inventory GUI so that they can see it. At this point, I ran the game and everything seems to be working just fine. So the last feature I had to implement was the equipping system. So think of having a list of auras in your inventory. How can you make it so that when you click on an aura and click on the equip button, it'll equip the aura that you want? So I thought about it for a few minutes and I found a pretty good solution. I scripted it so that when you click a button in your inventory, it'll highlight the aura showing that it's been selected. Then when you click the equipped or unequipped button, the game can then check which button was highlighted and then we can use another remote event to tell the game that this is the aura we want to equip. The equipping system took a while, but the gist of it is that the player tells us if they're equipping or unequipping, and they tell us for which aura they want to equip or unequip. If they're equipping, we want to check if they own the aura, and remove any effects that they're currently using. Then equip the aura by cloning the copy we put in server storage, parenting it to the player. And for unequipping, we just go through the player's character and destroy anything with the name of the aura. The last thing I did was make sure that the screen that shows up when you roll would disappear when you're not rolling because it kind of hides the screen. So here, after 60 minutes of 200 IQ coding, I present to you the finished product. Honestly, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. I mean, it's missing a few things, but the core system is here. I personally think the effects look pretty cool, and the animations are nice, so I think it's worth sharing. If you want to check out the game for yourself, I'll leave a link in the description. Leave a comment down below if you want to see me make a full tutorial on how I made Souls RNG in Roblox Studio. If you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing, and I'll see you in the next one.